Hello everyone. Welcome to another lecture from Think Surgery. In this episode, we will discuss about Troker and cannula system which we use for laparoscopy. After the creation of pneumoperitoneum, laparoscopic instruments are inserted into the abdominal cavity with the help of trocar and cannula system. The trocar and cannula system is made up of two parts. The inner trocar which can have a sharp or blunt tip and the outer cannula. The inner trocar is used to penetrate the abdominal wall and the outer cannula provides a passage for insertion of instruments into the abdominal cavity. The cannula is a hard metallic or plastic sleeve which allows the passage of instruments such as laparoscope and other accessory instruments. It is also equipped with a one-way valve which prevents the escape of gases, thereby helping in preserving the pneumoperitoneum which was already established. The trocar and cannula assembly penetrates the abdominal wall once the pneumoperitoneum is established. After that, trocar is removed, leaving the cannula in place. Cannula is used for the introduction of laparoscope and other instruments as already discussed. Trocars have basically two kinds of tip, cutting tip and blunt tip. Cutting tip can be of various types like pyramidal tip which has sharp edges on two planes and bladed tip which has sharp edges on one plane. Blunt tip trocars are also of various types. For example, blunt conical tip trocar and a normal blunt tip trocar. Trocars with a cutting tip penetrate the abdominal wall more readily compared to trocars with a blunt tip. Now we will move on to study the structure of a cannula. If we take a look at the cross section of a cannula, we will realize that it is not just an empty hollow cylinder. Cannulas are constructed with an one-way valve which allows introduction of instruments without the escape of gas. Additionally, there is also a rubber seal at the proximal tip to prevent the escape of gas. Some cannulae are also equipped with a side port which allows attachment of insufflation lines to introduce gas during the procedure. Shaft of a cannula can be smooth or threaded. A threaded cannula is more stable and unlikely to move within the abdominal wall during the procedure. Sometimes it is desirable for the cannula to move in and out of the abdominal cavity such as when the cannula is inserted deep into the abdominal cavity for tissue biopsy. In these circumstances a smooth non-threaded shaft is preferred. With that we conclude this topic. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give a like.